being surrounded by one of those little bastards attending kids. <laughs> it was mounted up in the corner, so I did not notice it when I had first walked into the stall. <laughs> Normally, such a thing would have bothered me, but I needed so much, and the pressure upward was so intense that I had a really experienced gag reflex. And once that reflex started combined with the intense pressure, up I got on the bloated stomach, four plates of macaroni and beef started a burning match. Oh my god, my head hurts. <laughs> what happened next is so quick that the exact sequence of events is a bit fuzzy. I will try to reconstruct them as best I can. In that moment of impending projectile vomiting, my attention my, was diverted from the goings-on at the other end. To put a freeze frame on the situation, I was half crushed down to the toilet. Pants pulled down to my knees with a load of vomit coming up from my esophagus. Now most of you know that vomiting takes precedence over shit no matter what is to c about to come slamming out of your ass. It is apparently the evolutionary thing since shitting will not kill you, but vomiting takes a presence of mind to accomplish so that you do not ask for any food into the bronchial tubes and perhaps choke to death. My attention was thus diverted at the... <laughs> At that very second, my ass exploded into what can be discounted as a wink, you know, as if the newspaper headline along the lines of 30,000 killed in wake of Typhoon Fifi or something similar would seem to be most suitably measured in human greens. And that is a plug of shit. The consistency of thick mud with a bit of pockets of crazy living came flying out of my house. <laughs> I remember I was only halfway down on the toilet at that moment. This shit wave was of such force and of just such an angle in relation to the back curve of the toilet seat that it ricocheted off the back seat and slammed into the wall at an angle of <laughs> incidence equal to the angle at which it initially hit the toilet seat. When I sat down, recall that when the event occurred, I was already halfway sitting anyway and had actually reached the point of no return. I have always considered myself relatively stable gravitationally, but when you can be at a certain point, you're down no matter what, how limber you may be. Needless to say, the shit wave, though of considerable force, was not so sufficient so as to completely glance off the toilet seat and deposit itself on the walls. What you would see when hitting a puddle of high pressure water hose, even though you grow water at the puddle, the puddle gets moved and no water is left to reform a puddle. There was a significant amount of shit remaining at about one third of the seat of the rim, which I had now just collapsed <laughs> Now, back to the vomit. <coughs> while sitting, while all the shitting was going on, the vomit was still on its way up. By the time I had actually collapsed on the toilet of my mouth, it filled up with a goodly, goodly, godly proportion of macaroni and beef I had just consumed. Okay, so what does the human body instinctively, instinctively do when vomiting? One bends over. So I bent over. I was still sitting on the toilet, though. Therefore, bending over resulted in me placing my head above my now slightly open legs, positioned in between my knees and waist, and directly above my pants, which were now pulled down to a point just midway between my knees and ankles. Oh, and then I mentioned that I was wearing not just pants, but sweatpants with elastic on the ankles. In a one mighty push, someone he has a macaroni and beef, two or three cocks, and a couple of big fat yeast rolls were deposited in my pants on the inside. <laughs> With no ready exit at the bottom, down by my feet. Who does this have? I still don't understand who this is.
this happens to. In the next several seconds, there's a handful of farts, a couple of turds, and the event ended. Yet I was now sitting there with my pants full off, full of vomit, my back covered in shit that had bounced off the toilet, spattered on three ceramic tiled walls to a height of about five feet, and still had enough force to come back at me, covering the back of my shirt with droplets of liquid shit. All the wall thick shit was spread all over my ass in a ring in the shape of a toilet seat.